Machine One. Subscribe today. Deputy Barney Fife here, Andy and I ask you to subscribe to Wayback Machine One. You can watch it here right now. Ooh, wow. Julie, fishing rod, and it's in the hands of an expert. Watch this wrist action. Well, I still say be careful. That hook looks dangerous. Not the way I handle it. Wrist action, that's the secret of the whole thing. Poor fish hasn't got a chance. <clears throat> morning, Miss Thackeray. Good morning. If you don't mind. Nice rod. Yes. Very nice and limber. Limber. That's an example of how limber you're going to be if you don't leave my things alone. Mr. Thackeray, I have an important message for you. Don't ever again. If you value... It's from Bridgeport. If you... Bridgeport? What about Bridgeport? Well, it seems there's been some mix-up about the transportation from the highway up to the campsite. It's about seven miles, and... What are they being mix-up? We've had our reservation for three weeks. Can I help, sir? I'm very good at woodcraft. Yes, we just had a sample of that. Go on, Julie. Well, they just said that they were very sorry, but that all the pack animals had been rented out. I won't stand for it. I'm not going to miss this real estate outing, and I'm not going to disappoint Benton. He came all the way from Minnesota for this fishing trip, and when he goes fishing, he likes to travel in style and comfort. And that means a lot of equipment. Why, it's seven miles straight up the side of that mountain. How are we going to... Uh, Bob, <clears throat> didn't you just mention woodcraft? Woodcraft? D did I mention woodcraft? Oh, Bob, <laughs> there's nothing like a healthful, relaxing jaunt in the woods to take a load off a man's mind. <laughs> hey, Julie? How you making out, George? Fine, fine. This is easy. Yeah, I told you it wouldn't be too tough, didn't I? <laughs> Isn't it great, George? <laughs> He's enjoying it, too. <laughs> Bob. Yes, Miss Thackeray. What is it, Bob? Oh, they're just some buzzards. Probably something dying around here. <laughs> well, these things are beginning to give me a stiff neck. I think I'll let you wear them for a while, Robert. There you are. What's the matter? Not going to let a couple of old-timers like us out hike you, are you? Oh, no, sir. I... I'm just lagging back to enjoy the scenery. 
I'll have to give him one of those super vitamin tablets of mine when we get up to camp. Oh, say, <laughs> Willis, let's give the boy a break. What do you say? All right, George. We are reaching quite an elevation. Here, you take this, George. And I'll take this. Now, that'll make it easier for you, Bob. Come on, now, let's go. Well, what's the matter? You don't happen to have one of those super vitamin tablets handy, have you? <laughs> oh, no. They're way at the bottom of the knapsack. Come on, George. Let's give him a hand here. Right. Help him up. There we are. No, when you're ready. Don't want to leave any of this behind. All oh. essential stuff. Up you go, there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Just a few hundred yards more. Straight up. Beautiful climbing. Yeah. There. That's better, Bob? There you are. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are, George. What do you think? Not too many mosquitoes, huh? Oh, this is fine, Willis, fine. And the stream right at our back door, too. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah, that stream's gonna see plenty of action before we get to <laughs> it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Well, we better help Bob unload the pack. Yeah, I'm starving. Well, we can't ring the dinner bell without the dinner. <laughs> Now, the first thing is to get a fire started. Bob, you'll find some matches right there in the pack. <coughs> well, come on, the matches, boy, the matches. Just what section of pack would you say they're in? Well, how do I know? Dig around in the pack there until you find it. Well, you certainly are in a testy mood. Maybe you don't appreciate this outing we've invited you on. Ah, there's nothing I like more than the smell of a pine <laughs> in the open air. Yes, the bacon sizzling, the trout frying, the coffee boiling. <laughs> well, where are the matches? Hope this isn't your idea of a joke, Mr. Thackeray. My what? I've been carrying a load of rocks. A load of rocks? Bean Blossom, I've never seen you like this before. That's because you've never seen me carrying a load of rocks. <laughs> the rock came out of the pack? Right out of the pack. I reached down into the pack, just like this. Right clear through to the bu... <laughs> oh. I guess there's a hole, sir. There are two holes. One there, and one in your head. <laughs> All we need... Did we lose any of our food? No, that's in a large box in the bottom of the knapsack. But the matches are gone. They're lying someplace down on the trail. I don't have any. I don't have any. Bob, somewhere down on the trail. Oh, great. Our pack animal has become sullen. Not in the least. Merely confident. We shall not want for fire as long as there's a bean blossom and two sticks present. And fortunately for all of us, there's a bean blossom and two sticks present. Oh, yes, that's right. You were a beaver patrol or something, weren't you? Scoutmaster, Troop 14, San Fernando Valley. <laughs> Troop 14. Hello, boys. Hi. You gentlemen part of the real estate outing? Yes, I'm Thackeray, Thackeray Realty, Hollywood. Oh, this is my guest, George Benton. How are you? I'm glad oh, to know yeah. you. <laughs> I'm Fred Pierce. Uh, they put me in charge of the fishing contest. You hear that, George? <laughs> Count us in. <laughs> Good, fine. Thackeray Realty and guest. Yeah. Uh, how about the jackpot? You want in? Sure do. How much? $10 each. Oh, yeah. And, fellas, this year the trophy is bigger than ever. It's a beaut. Yeah, well, I got just a spot in my office for it. Oh, wait, here's my card. Uh -huh. Don't want any mistake when you start engraving on that trophy. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody else have got the same idea. <laughs> well, don't forget the rules now. Start at daybreak in the morning, and the biggest fish caught wins the jackpot and the association trophy. Good luck. <laughs> so Thanks. <laughs> George, I just got to get that big one tomorrow. Last year, my competitors, the Star Realty, got it, and, and that publicity was worth a million. Well, we'll do it if we get to bed early. Yeah. Early to bed catches the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, now let's see what the ex-head of Troop 14 is up to. 
Do something, Dick Boy. Do something, Dick Boy. Do something. I didn't say burn down the forest. We just want to heat some coffee. Yes, sir. I was just trying out an old Indian method and it sort of got out of hand. Well, how early shall we make it? Oh, five o'clock, George. I want to be the first one to hit that street. I've got to beat Star Realty. Uh, that's fine. You know, I can't stop worrying about Bean Blossom. Oh. I keep imagining that he's lost or in trouble or, or hung up someplace. That doesn't take much imagination. I feel sorry for the poor woodland creatures. He'll be back. I, you know, it seems to me they could have made these with a two-way stretch. <laughs> yeah, stay with it, George. Inhale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Comfortable? Well, it's a little tight around the middle, but... <laughs> you know what, George? You should have a sleeping bag with a bare midriff. A bare midriff? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, George, cut it out. You're making me seasick. <laughs> I guess it's a little late to ask, but uh, do you snore? Oh, well, never mind. Good night, George. Are you asleep? Yes! <coughs> Where have you been? Oh, I, I found the matches, sir. That's a big help. Go to bed. Isn't it a little early to go to bed, sir? Friend Bean Blossom, you won't think so when five o'clock rolls around. Now, will you please just... Hey, it's getting kind of chilly. Yeah, it sure is. No wonder you haven't got your sleeping bag zippered up. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. This is your bag, George. How do you work this combination? Oh, I forgot. I broke off the inside tab in Minnesota last year. That's fine. Bob, you can help us a minute. Mm -hmm. The outside tab's still on. And just pull it, pull it across. Oh, here, yeah. I got mm. it. Yeah, this night air gets pretty cold up here. Yeah, yeah sure. Better close her all the way across, Bob. Uh -huh. Enough? <laughs> no, a little further. All right. Uh, that's good. How's that? Fine. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Uh, I don't know, sir. It seemed to have gotten tangled up a little bit in the zipper. My, well, get it out. The... This is terribly embarrassing, sir. It is that. Trapped in a sleeping bag. Who will ever believe it? <laughs> Bean Blossom! Bean Blossom! Come over here and get us out of this bag! Bean Blossom! Oh, oh. Good morning, Mr. Thackeray. Well, how'd you sleep? I can't imagine. Kill that mosquito on my face, will you? Oh, close your eyes, Mr. Thackeray. I'm afraid I'll hurt you. Oh, kill it! Close your eyes again. Go! Oh. Sorry, Mr. Thackers. I said kill the mosquito, not me. Yes. Get us out of this bag, will you, Bean Blossom? All right. So, you want to know something interesting? Yeah. All night long, I dreamed about a mountain lion with a zipper down his chest. I wonder what a psychiatrist would say if you told him about that. Unless you want to lose contact with the outside world, it's better not to let him know. <laughs> oh, I think this thing's still jammed, Miss Thackeray. Oh. Boy, look at that! Look at what? Say, those fish are really jumping out there. Oh, they're ready, Willis. They're oh, ready. Oh, oh, Bean Blossom, get us out of here. Yes, sir. Think of what we're missing. Get, get a knife. Get a hatchet. Do anything. Slice it up the side. Well, I looked for him last night. The knife and the hatchet must have fallen out through the hole in the pack sack, too, sir. Yeah, but you did find the matches. Get us out of here. Get it. We've got to win that trophy. 
Go borrow a knife. See another camper. Another camper. Yes. Hurry. All right. Quick. I'll get a knife. Go. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, say, I need a knife. You don't happen to have one, do you? Oh, I don't know. I'm sort of new at this fishing business. When I bought my outfit, the man said I had everything. Yeah. Oh, here's a knife. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Thackeray will be very happy about this. Uh, Mr. Thackeray, are you with the Thackeray Realty Group? Oh, yes. I'm Robert S. Beanblossom. I guess you know by now the Real Estate Association is having their annual outing up here. I certainly do. I'm Aloha Andrews. My dad owns the office across the street from you people. Star Realty Company? Uh-huh. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, no. Well, only your dad and Mr. Thackeray seem to have a pretty bitter rivalry. Maybe I better not borrow your knife. Oh, don't be silly. You wouldn't let business interfere with friendship. As far as I'm concerned, if there was a person with a rival company and I liked him, well, I wouldn't care if he was the biggest competitor we had. As long as I liked him, there's no reason why I shouldn't like him, is there? Uh, no, not, not that I know of. Give me a penny. A penny? Uh, you're borrowing my knife, and I hate to lose <laughs> friends. Don't you worry about that. I'll be back. I don't think there's any doubt about that. If I could only get to you. Well, you can. Uh, put on my dad's boots over there. Oh, thanks. Don't let him get away. He may bring you the loving cup. Even if he doesn't, it's fun to think about it. <laughs> oh, he's big and strong. Here I come. Don't let him go. Uh, don't let him go. Come on. Let me have your rod. Okay. Just let me... Oh, bad luck. I think you probably hooked an old dead log. If I have, I think I'll shoot myself. What'd you say? Oh, I, I say, I guess I'm not such a good fisherman after all, mister. Oh, just call me Bob. Now, Aloha, you mustn't get discouraged. I know you'll hook one if you just keep trying. Oh, you really think so? Yeah. There. Ah. See? <laughs> At least you haven't lost your bait. I should hope not. Now, now although if you're going to learn this, you've really got to concentrate. Uh, you see, the whole secret's in the way you flick your eye. Uh, excuse me, your wrist. It, it's just a little crowded here. Could, could you give me just a little room so I can get a good shot at it? Now, you get the pole up just like this, so, and then... And there you are. <laughs> That's right, there you are. <laughs> Oh, that bean blossom. Where is he? Maybe something's happened to him again. Oh, quit dreaming. Why am I getting my hands out of my... Hey, hey, Pierce! Pierce, over here. Here. Hey, you fellas. You can't win the jackpot this way. Everybody else is out on the river. Pierce, for heaven's sake, if you've got a drop of human kindness in your soul, get us out of this bag. Get you out? Yeah. You don't mean that you can't... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Get us out. You're really a good teacher, Bob. I certainly won't make any of those mistakes again. Well, you're getting on to it now. Until you've actually landed your first one, you feel sort of stupid. Yes, you're right. I, I do. Oh, I've got one. Oh. Uh, now, now, don't lose your head. No. Be calm. Remember, you're the master. Keep him under tension. Wear him out. Well, help me. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the most fascinating day I've ever spent. You've been so helpful. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I just think like a fish, that's all. <laughs> well, thanks, Pierce, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> the best of luck, fellas. <laughs> Wait till the other boys hear about this. Oh, no. 
Oh, that bean blossom. When I get my oh, hands on... Oh, stop saying that over and over again. If we don't get our hands on some fish, we'll both have ulcers. <laughs> well, 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 we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you're right. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Well, it's awfully nice, but I guess we better extricate ourselves. <laughs> You've got the knife. Hey, where did it? Uh -huh. The knife. Oh, my gosh, I forgot all about Mr. Thackeray and the knife. Excuse me. Oh, oh. The knife. Blossom, if I ever get my hands on him, I'll... Quiet, you'll scare the fish. <laughs> You're here? I, I... I got the knife. Give it to me. Really? Give it to me. Take the rod. A fish! My fish! What? My wand! Come here. Oh! You get it, Bean Blossom! Go on, get it! He's taking it downstream! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up. Don't let him get away! How's he doing? I can't see. He disappeared behind that shrubbery. Well, gentlemen, the contest is over. Don't go jumping in conclusions. It's in the bag for the Star Realty Company. Oh, no, it can't be. Not yet. <laughs> Seeing is believing. Show him, Miss Andrews. All right. Mm, not bad. But wait till my man gets back with the fish I hooked. You mean he's going to be bigger than this one? Are you kidding? Why, it's the biggest fish I ever saw. Why, he dragged him right downstream there underneath that bow. Dragged who downstream? Where's my fish? I, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Thackeray. You're sorry? Well, Mr. Thackeray, the star realty is the winner. There's the jackpot, Miss Andrews. Well, thank you. I want to thank my assistant. Your assistant? Well, yes. I, I couldn't have possibly landed it if he hadn't taught me. Well, we've got to show Dad our catch. <laughs> well, I better get off these waiters. <laughs> oh, he's wonderful. He thinks like a fish. And it shows in every move he makes. Well, come on. I want to introduce you to my dad. All right, just let me get this water out of the waiters. <laughs> Mr. Black, what? Look! The fish! My fish! I'd have known it anywhere. Look, look, there's the proof. The line. Yeah. The lure. <laughs> well, Pierce, I guess we have a new champion. Huh? I guess so. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Miss Andrews. I'm really happy. It was yours anyway. Oh, no, I couldn't. It's Mr. Uh, Thackeray's. I was just fortunate the fish caught in your father's waiters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, $200. Oh, Bob, that belongs to you. Oh, we call it a company fish. Thackeray Realty wins the trophy. <laughs> oh, this publicity will be marvelous. Good <laughs> afternoon, gentlemen. May I see your licenses, please? I'm the uh, game warden. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, Here's mine. Thank you, miss. You see, I, I got a little problem about that. Um, Miss Thackeray, I, I was buying so many things for you. Well, uh, I didn't have time to get a license. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you figure it'll be? Two dollars? Two hundred. <laughs> Sorry, Robert, old boy. <laughs> I'll keep it in escrow for you. <laughs> well, you really don't have to feel so bad. Fishing isn't everything. It isn't? No. Julie, for once, I'm defending Bob. You're always defending him. But this time, I'm defending him. He was a real gentleman through the entire trip. He tried to help everyone. He got caught in a sleeping bag, and Fish got caught in his waders, and the warden caught him, and... and Julie, this girl did all the kissing. 
Bob didn't even react. Uh, did you, Bob? Well, well, I... I, I... Uh, Julie, I've lived longer than you have. And I've made mistakes, but I've never regretted them because through those mistakes, I've learned to be tolerant of others. And tolerance, Julie, is one of the greatest virtues of mankind. Now, let me show you how... I'm Lieutenant Colombo. Just one more thing. Subscribe now for classic TV shows right here on Wayback Machine 1. Thank you very much. Wayback Machine 1